Well, good early morning to you, chat. What a fun stream. What a fun impromptu stream. I hope you like I hope you like dumpster fires. I hope you like watching people light themselves on fire for your own entertainment. Cause you've got a front row seat tonight. I'll tell you. There are some stupid things that you can do as a man. Lots of dumb shit you can do in a relationship. But I think what has to sit at the very top of the list, the biggest fuck-up you could possibly ever undertake, is dumping your wife via social media. Not the smartest thing to do. Especially when your wife has some things to say about you and your career. Some potentially damaging things. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with a YouTuber by the name of Pro Jared, over a million subs on his account. Well, tonight there was a little bit of trouble in paradise. The honeymoon, it would seem, is over. And he decided, in a very big brain decision, I might add, that uh, he wanted to do break up with his wife. So he was going to do it via Twitter. But what could go wrong? Women are completely reasonable creatures, very logical. They would, uh, of course, think this through and not say anything that's going to make you look bad. No. He decided to uh, post about it. Hey, hey, uh, we're going to be getting a divorce. And then shit went down. Now, this is kind of, uh, uh, this is in flux at the moment. It's live and breaking. But I just, uh, I can't, I can't not talk about it because it's really fucking entertaining. So we're going to take a look. This is a little conversation that's been going on between him and, uh, his ex-wife now, I guess, uh, via social media. So let's take a look at what started. Oh, I can get rid of the banner text. Get rid of the banner text. There we go. Let's start. Let's start it out with the brainchild's brilliant idea of just fucking announcing at like eleven at night on Twitter on a random fucking Wednesday. Hey, I'm done with my wife. Just, just pro tip, everybody. Pro tip from pro, uh, pro Jared. I'm dumping the bitch. So let's go read his amazing statement. Here we are. This is uh, Pro Jared's Twitter account, Jared Cannabinabar. Don't know how to pronounce it. Don't really even care. Let's read it. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as surprising and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we might both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. Well, Papa Bless, listen to that. He's giving us permission to come to our own conclusions. We'll be doing that on this stream. <laughs> A lot of speculation and rumors and gossip. I don't know if he really saw this coming from his wife. I'm sorry, ex-wife. But uh, I'm glad we have your permission to come to our own conclusions based on the observations we're going to be undertaking this evening. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding the matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority through all of this. I'm going to say that's a lie. You'll see why I believe that's a lie in just a few minutes. It's my hope that we both exit this marriage with style and grace. Nothing says stylish. Like divorcing your wife on Twitter, you stupid fuck. <laughs> you know, I believe... Listen, okay? I like to have a little bit of flair, all right? Wear a suit. Got a nice got a nice fedora upon me. I'm all about style, baby. So when I, br when I break it off with my wife, only the finest of Twitter posts will, will do that for me. You know, some of the uh, guys out there don't know what they're doing. They use Instagram or Facebook. But people know the quality breakup platform is Twitter.com. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. <laughs> Just uh, plan on doing okay. Plan on doing what? Everything you can to divorce her? Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for understanding or your understanding, patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. Oh, dead man walking. This motherfucker may have well painted a bullseye on his back. What a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you even talk to a divorce attorney? Did you talk to anybody that was licensed in divorces and ask them, Hey, this is a smart decision to publicly announce on Twitter I'm divorcing my wife. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that was his that was his announcement. Very straightforward. Okay, that's very sad. Oh, God, Pro Jared. Pro Jared's divorcing his wife. Who am I going to get my Nintendo reviews from now? Ooh. Oh, poor guy. Couples therapy. That's oh, he must that must be tough times for him. But, you know, surprisingly, his uh, I guess now ex-wife, Heidi O. Farrell. <laughs> Farrell being a fitting last name because that's uh that's the that's the mood I get from her. She's gone feral. She's looking for fucking blood tonight. Has decided to address some of this. Uh, well, she's she's decided to address a fucking lot of it. So let's just go read through this. Oh, this is going to be funny as shit. Oh, this is so fucking amazing. Why do people do this shit publicly on social media? I will never know. But it is high quality entertainment. It's the kind of shit everybody loves. So uh, this was his wife's first response. We're just going to read through it. There's a lot of stuff to unpack here, so uh, just get cozy. Have a nice drink, smoke a joint, uh, <laughs> do whatever you got to do. Lots of laughs ahead. So uh, this would be this would be her Twitter account. I <laughs> okay. I recently learned that my husband Pro Jared has been fucking Holly Conrad <laughs> behind my back for months. I had no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened to being mature adults, Jared? Who the fuck announces a divorce and talks about how much they love their ex-wife's mental well-being? And then blocks her on Twitter and announces he's dumping her. I've been fucking Holly Conrad behind... His... <laughs> what? Holly Conrad? Well, that name seems really familiar. Why does that seem so familiar? Oh, <laughs> I know why that seems familiar. She had a comment on Jared's announcement about divorcing his fucking wife. In fact, it's the first fucking response. I'm so sorry you're going through this. I'm here for you if you need me. You need to bend somebody over, relieve a little stress, I'm here for you. You hit Holly up. <laughs> oh, Jared! Oh, you stupid fuck. Oh, it's just getting started, though, by the way. There's, <laughs> there's some great shit in here. Jared tried very, very hard to make me feel responsible for everything that gone wrong in our relationship. He technically broke up with me in February, insisting that the only thing wrong with our marriage was me, insisting that he had tried to make things work. He was unable to confess his infidelity, even when presented with proof. He squirmed in denial until the last minute, getting angry and defensive instead of apologetic. I believe he has compartmentalized his feelings and memories to suppress his guilt. He's very convincing. I've spent the last year in near isolation, ostracized from Jared's friend group. Because he made it clear to me that I was not welcome around them, even when we were still together. You get back in the closet, whore! Don't you embarrass me in front of my video game friends! I'm doing YouTube LPs here, honey! Get back in the closet! <laughs> he had to keep me separate to keep up his lies. He told his friends a version of events that omits his infidelity and portrays me as an aggressive and unreasonable person. As though I'm randomly angry and upset all the time for no reason at all. It's because he's abusing me. Uh-oh. His statement is nothing more than an attempt to silence me before I can reveal anything. I gave him the opportunity to make a statement about his infidelity before I did. I told him it'd be less embarrassing for him if he was honest with his own friends. He declined. Oh, now here's where she starts dropping fucking nukes. Honestly, Holly Conrad. <laughs> this is so good. Honestly, at Holly Conrad. You look very ashamed and insecure in all the nudes you sent my husband. I think it would be your chronic self-esteem issues. It would help your chronic self-esteem issues if you started fucking men that weren't already married. <laughs> oh, oh, this girl has no chill. Fuck. God, shit. She's seen the nudes of the woman that's fucking her husband. <laughs> Holly. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Oh, you look you look a little insecure. You look a little insecure. Reading the explicit messages between my husband and his mistress is an experience I would not wish on anyone. I basically discovered that they've been hooking up all on their work trip since last fall and meeting together secretly since she moved here. Remember if you uh, remember just a few minutes back she mentioned they started calling off their marriage in February. But apparently that infidelity was going on for at least half a year last fall. 
Jared. It's very naughty. Jared and Holly know the truth. Convincing the rest of the internet isn't important to me. After losing the love of my life in such a brutal betrayal, I don't feel vulnerable to the opinions of strangers in the same way anymore. <laughs> shit! Before I read on, before I read on to the really funny shit, um, let's go take a look at his social blade. Let's go see how it's going for, for pro Jared. <laughs> how's, how's his fan base taking the news? Let's, uh, let's find out. Am I on pro Jared's page here? Yes, I am. Well, let's let's see how how are the uh, how are the fans taking the infidelity story so far? Well, there's lots of he hasn't really uploaded anything in like a year. Lots of green though. I mean, that's good. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Twenty two hundred unsubs. Oh, and most people haven't even heard this yet. Let's go look at the live buttons. <laughs> look at it drop. Oh, Jared. Oh, your sub count's dropping faster than your pants did when Holly showed you her tits. Oh, this is unfortunate. It doesn't stop, Jared. <laughs> what keeps dropping, Jared? Oh, make it stop. It hurts so much. Oh, the bleeding. The bleeding won't end. Oh, yeah, divorcing your wife on Twitter is a real smart move. Good business decision. <laughs> it, just <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, Jared. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Not as unfortunate as what Heidi had to follow up with, though. Oh, there's there's more. Let's continue. I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because he's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. I did tell him that I wouldn't sign an NDA regarding his behavior. I've suffered enough to sell my, or I've suffered enough to sell my dignity. I don't expect fans to take up pitchforks for me. To most of you, he's just a funny internet guy. And it's not relevant if he cheated on his wife. Whatever, okay. I needed to get that off my chest because I've been living in a private hell for the last year. Wondering if I'm going crazy because the person I love told me the obvious wasn't true. That I'm paranoid and wrong. I'm not holding my tongue for his benefit anymore. I truly believe Jared was better than this. And he proved me wrong. I told him over and over that I had faith in the integrity. Or in his integrity. And he told me there and... <laughs> And told me, and he stood there and took the compliment and said nothing while cheating on me. This is going to get fun. The proof I found was on his old phone dating from October to December of last year. Everything from sexual images to detailed descriptions of times they met to have sex. Heidi, post it. Oh, please, Heidi, post it. The depth of his capacity for deception honestly disturbs me more than the actual cheating. I didn't believe he was capable of lying like this. I had the utmost faith in his uh, moral compass and good judgment. He has proved me wrong. It's also true that he's been soliciting nudes from his fans for years. I was there in the beginning. It was a joke on Tumblr. Then it was his own Tumblr account just for nudes. It was ostensibly a body positive space for consenting adults. And I approved on that basis. Uh-oh. Oh, you know shit's gonna go south when this the, when this sort of news breaks out. <laughs> Can I let me get a picture of Jared up just so you know who we're talking about? Who's the guy that's getting all those nudes? <laughs> what's our what's our Casanova look like? Oh, oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is perfect, perfect image, perfect. Here we go. This guy, this guy right here is the one soliciting the nudes from his fans. It's got a whole fucking uh, social media platform dedicated to getting naked pictures from people that watch his Nintendo reviews. Uh oh, the wife found a dirty, dirty conversation, sexual images, and now Jared's soliciting nudes from his fans. Could it get any worse? You ask. Why? Yes, it could. <laughs> it actually could get worse. Now that you ask, let's find out how it could get worse. Let's, uh, let's see how this could possibly turn into a worse situation. It kept escalating secretly. He started a Snapchat for getting nudes from his fans without telling me. I found out via a fan comment. I felt pressured to allow it even though I was uncomfortable. Anytime I gave him an inch, he took a mile. Well, don't feel bad, Heidi. You weren't the only one giving inches. Apparently, Jared was giving out quite a few inches to Holly and a few of his fans from the sound of it. I believe that he had shut it down in late 2017, I think, but now I have reason to believe it continued for a long time after that. If you have information or were involved in this, I 
I would really like to know what happened. I know a lot of his fans participated. For the record, I'm not mad at any of the fans for sending him raunchy images. Jared was the one responsible for being honest with me, which he failed to do. No one is to blame, in my opinion. I used to think that among consenting adults it was fine. Now I see it was an abuse of power uh, for him to intentionally manipulate anyone to show him their naked body on the basis that he's a popular internet man. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for my role in enabling this. I was planning to be a lot more civil in my announcement. But then Jared blindsided me with his bullshit vague statements pretending that our relationship ended for any reason besides his extensive infidelity. Oh, here's where it gets better. This is a fucking response to somebody else. I followed him on Snapchat for a brief period of time. Not even that long ago, February. It started with him sending risky cosplay pics and I deleted them after they became full on nudes. I never sent any pics back, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I didn't realize he was sending actual full nudes to his fans too. I thought they were just teasing images. I always warned him that showing his dick was a line he couldn't cross. Our boy. Where is he? Where's our boy? Here's our boy. Our boy has got some dick pics out there, Internet. And we need to find them. Apparently, Casanova here was running multiple fucking Tumblrs and Instagrams to get nudes. And then sending out pictures of his cock. Sending out his pictures of his cock to the Internet. Now, I wasn't sure. <laughs> God, how could this keep going? Oh, Jared, 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 this is so many mistakes you've made here. Putting your penis on the internet is probably one of the biggest ones you could make. Uh, but somebody sent this in response. That's a, that's a little picture, uh, apparently, to, co co to corroborate the story that Jared's out there uh, sending things to the ladies. Uh-oh. I recognize that pale, pasty, fucking skinny little body. <laughs> Would that be Jared? Uh-oh. It's a little bit risky, Jared. Are you uh, are you about to uh, unveil your grading scale to the internet? Oh. Oh, God. This is fucking disastrous, Jared. Let's see. Uh, let's continue reading her uh, Twitter account. Uh, people asking to follow. Follow me back. I want to send you evidence. He regularly asked fans for nudes on Tumblr and would encourage people to join his 18-plus Snapchat, and it definitely rubbed me the wrong way. I'm so sorry that he was doing this. Many fans of Jared's are replying to this tweet to share their experiences. I won't retweet anyone, but just look at the replies and you'll see how many people corroborate this info. Well, let's find out. Oh my god, this is from Sky Williams. Oh my fucking good god. This is just so sudden and equally so horrible. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. Please let me have, please somebody post the pictures. <laughs> Tell me somebody posted the pictures. Oh, Jared hungers. Hungers for nudes. Oh, this is fucking terrible. This is just awful, Jared. Has she posted more? Oh, let's see. We, these are our final tweets. She's put these out while I was preparing the stream. <laughs> the stream. I'm aware that Jared believes and has told many people that I'm abusing him. That's his justification for cheating on me. But the logic is flawed, because even if I am the worst person in the world, it's still his responsibility to break up with me, instead of banging other girls. That said, I begged to know what I was doing to hurt him, so I could fix it. He could never give me an actionable feedback. He couldn't point out any of my current behaviors that needed to change. I spent every day desperate to please him. Well, he gave me the silent treatment. He had absolute financial and social control over me. I've been powerless by comparison. I couldn't even move without him co-signing my lease. I couldn't even get away when he didn't want me anymore. I held on to this marriage for so long because I believed in his goodness. And he gave me just enough false hope to keep me hooked. He insisted he was trying. If only I were better. I thought if I was humble and corrected myself, love would eventually win out. Oh, my dude. What are you doing? Never, ever, ever. Talk about your fucking relationships on the internet, Jared. You stupid asshole. This is, this is why you don't do that. This is why you don't divorce your fucking wife via Twitter posts after you block her on social media. Now the, 
information's out there that you're getting nudes from fans and sending dick pics to people, oh, it's going to be nightmarish. How many of these girls do you think it's going to... If there's 10, 20, 30 of them, one of them's going to show that stuff. We're going to see your dick, dude. Because you had to divorce your wife in the stupid, stupidest way possible. I'm going to know what your penis looks like by the end of the week, Jared. That should terrify you. I don't want to know what your dick looks like, bro. But now I got no choice. How could I not watch this dumpster fire fucking in real time take place? Simply stunning. And even better is the fact that the woman that he's fucking has got the gall to respond to it. What are you doing? Oh, oh, does she, uh, she looks like she has a public statement too. Let's read her public statement <laughs> from Holly the Homewrecker. Uh, here we go. I understand some shit's going down on the internet. If you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from somebody you don't know on the internet with no previous background information and use it to demonize strangers, so be it. This isn't anyone's business but theirs. Why? Well, I, I beg to... I beg to disagree because according to according to our boy our boy Jared here, he wants us to reach our own conclusions based on our own observations. Holly, we're just listening to the guy you were fucking. If it's worth anything, you all know me. I never hurt anyone. I only want the best and happiness for those around me. If you followed me for a long time, you know that. Going to get off Twitter for a while. Oh, I'd wager you are. <laughs> I wager you're going to take a minor break. Maybe, you know, a couple days, uh, sort some things out. Now, Jared hasn't posted anything since he put up his uh, statement on the Internet. You know, in fact, let's let's go take a look and just see, again, how that social blade's doing for our boy. <laughs> oh, God, it's still dropping like a rock. Uh, not, not doing well. Just keeps tumbling down. <laughs> Jared, why? Oh, what's the total loss at right now? Let's go find out. Uh, 2200 that's at 31,000 and he's sitting at what right now oh it's another thousand drop so we're, we're at a loss of 3500 subs at fucking two in the morning when nobody even knows what's going on oh, <laughs> give it a give it like three days four days before we see some dick pics also his wife ex-wife sorry Heidi uh, apparently saw Holly nude so I don't know if Holly's making shit up <laughs> or I'm sorry I don't know if Heidi's making shit up Holly because she's seen your tits. She knows what you look like with your pants off. Because you sent it to her husband. Uh, I wonder if she's got access to those images and those conversations. She said she had proof, so she probably backed it up. I wouldn't be surprised if in a week or two, <laughs> or at least at the divorce proceeding, that gets entered into evidence and we get to read sexual conversations between pro Jared and Holly. Get to see some fancy pictures. In the meantime, the fans he's been sending his cock to on the internet, well, they'll probably post that shit on 4chan or somewhere else. They can do it anonymously. And everybody's going to get in a good, nice inspection on the, um, uh, you know, King of Poles going to be thrilled. He loves outlines. So, Jared, if there's one positive takeaway from this uh, disaster that is your life at the moment, it's that Brian is fucking thrilled with your decision to send dick pics out to people randomly. He thanks you for your service, Jared. Oh, chat. I, this is, again, this is just beginning. It's one of those things where I saw it start to happen and I just wanted to talk about it. It's a very short stream. I just wanted to make you all aware of the fact that whatever you do in your life, <laughs> whether it's a straight or a gay relationship, it's a husband or a wife, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, do not, under any fucking circumstances, break up with them via social media. What a disastrous decision to do. The dumbest fucking thing you could do. <laughs> That's it's just a mistake. And you're watching you're watching it play out. You're seeing why it's a mistake. He had to have known. He had to have known that this... How could you be that stupid? What did he expect that she was going to do? Applaud him? Did she think Heidi was going to give him a round of applause and say, you, Way to go, Jared. Not only do I love your Nintendo reviews, I love the fact that you fuck sluts on the side and dump me publicly via Twitter. You go, buddy. <laughs> Way to win the fight. Holy fucking shit. Chad, am I alone in this? I, I don't think I can be alone in this. I think Jared might be might be mentally handicapped. I can't really explain what his thought process was on this. I've known some stupid motherfucking guys in my lifetime 
who's done some dumb shit in relationships. But this might be right at the top of the list. Oh, good God. Oh, Jim, the, P or the picks are already leaking, are they? Nice. Oh, the picks. People are saying, check out V. The pictures are already up. Well, I, I'm up for a challenge. Now, if they're too sexual in content, I obviously can't show them on Twitter. But I can describe them. In, <clears throat> I can describe them in great detail, however. So let's go see if uh, if those pictures are in fact up on the internet. Please tell me they are. Tell me tell me somebody uh, link them. Maybe link them to my good friend Mr. Anti Bully so I can go take a look at them. Uh, because I think, oh my God, holy shit! Oh, he's got a tiny dick. <laughs> oh, Jared, no! Oh, it's itty bitty, bro. <laughs> oh, that is that is bad oh here's another pro tip for pro people out there don't be like our boy pro jared unless you're swinging a certain amount of meat don't be sending pictures of it out to people randomly on the internet <laughs> oh that is bad oh that is unfortunate oh yes the pictures are out there I love the look on his face. He looks like he's about to bust a nut. Oh. <laughs> What's... Yeah, there's a song I'm suddenly reminded of. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find this song. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be smaller by the end of this. His dick or his sub count? Uh, okay. Let me, see, let me see if I can find the song that I think fits this situation uh, the best way possible. Ah. Uh. Just a song to dedicate to our boy Jared. Eeny, weeny, teeny, weeny, shriveled little short short man. Don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want. Okay, yeah, I know, I think that captures it, Chad. What the, f <laughs> the video's playing. Whoops, I wanted the picture up. I guess the, well, whatever. You get the point. We're good. Uh, they're going to send me a copyright. Copyright on that one. Oh, that's fine, Jared. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I can't. I can't show you the uncensored version. People are asking for his pictures, the uncensored ones. I, there's, there's no way I can show this to you. I can just tell you that they do, in fact, exist, and I'm looking at them right now, and uh, it's uh, not very impressive. I'm gonna. If I had to give it a grading, I'd give that a, a five and a half out of ten. If you catch my meaning, that would be my rating for, for his dick pics. Oh. Wow. Okay, let's let's see. Let me just check, see if there are any updates going on here. Oh, there's a few more tweets. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. Uh, I, how do I even... I can't, I can't show the picture. I'll read the tweet, though. It's a picture of his penis. Uh, before, I was very defensive about Jared, but after seeing this image sent by fans, I was like, yikes, dude. Hope this will uh, get solved, and I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> From uh, Sweet Jackson 13 to his ex-wife Heidi, and Heidi's response is, "Oh my God!" So I think that is definitive confirmation that that is in fact his itty bitty little short short man that he's holding in his. Fa <laughs> he's making a DSP face. If you remember that Twitch stream the DSP did where he's cranking one out, you know the look on his face he got when the relief hit. That's the look on the face of Jared while he's cranking his, <laughs> while he's jerking the gherkin. Oof, heartful. Oh, chat, what a night. What a fantastic evening. God, sometimes magical shit just... I mean, I feel bad for Heidi. Don't get me wrong, Heidi, if you ever hear this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry your husband was a piece of shit that cheated on you. But um, disastrous for him and entertaining for us. Oh, I wonder how many dick pics are out there. There are, there are, there are images. There are... Oh, let me put his face back up so we can... <laughs> this guy... This dude's dick is floating around the internet. I've seen your penis, Jared. What life decisions have led to this happening? I have seen your dick. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming. Million sub account, doing really well, making some good money. Now, now some stranger on the internet's laughing about your dick size. Because <laughs> you had to get horny and do dumb shit on the internet. 
Oh my god, fantastic. Again, uh, a very short stream, I, I realize that, chat. I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's going to be entertaining, especially going forward for the next week, at the very least. If we're getting one dick pic this quickly, we're going to be getting a lot of dick pics. There's going to be lots of cocks out there. So uh, enjoy. Have a good laugh. A enjoy that. <laughs> oh, what a stupid asshole. Oh, oh, that is a dumb decision, Jared. Very, very poor decision on your part. Gotta say, champ, could have handled it better. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it, yeah, very early in the morning. I know everybody's got work and school to get to. Very short stream, half an hour, not much. I'll read some super chats and close it out. Again, if you want to follow along as this train wreck progresses, you can follow, uh, let me, what's her, what's her Twitter handle name? Atelier Heidi, A-T-E-L-I-E-R-H-E-I-D-I. -E -E uh, that's the ex-wife. Or Pro Jared, which is at Pro Jared. Or the uh, uh, the home wrecker, Holly, at Holly Conrad, C-O-N-R-A-D. Uh, be sure to keep a look on their Twitter feeds because I'm sure some spectacular shit's coming down the pipeline in the next day. And you're not going to want to miss it. <laughs> Let's be honest, who would want to miss? Watching this just uh, continue to get worse for him. And it's going to. Just uh, spectacular. Uh, also, a uh, quick update. I've got a video coming out Friday, and there will be the David Stay stream on Saturday. So those two things are coming up. I've got a bigger video coming out near the end of the month, as well as a bigger stream. Let's say sometime around the 23rd. Maybe you can figure out what it's about uh, with a couple other stuff. But uh, in the short term, video on Friday, stream on Saturday. Uh, thank you for coming out. No, it's really early in the morning. Go get some sleep. Get ready for work, get ready for school. I'm going to read through the Super Chats really quick, and then we'll close it out. Be sure to keep an eye on these three people. I'm sure there's more entertainment coming on uh, very soon. Can we get one last quick status update to see just just how many subs he's sitting at? Just the last sub update before the morning comes, and it really really starts to go to shit for him. Let's let's find out. Let's just uh, I'll just give you a quick tally here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's getting even worse now. He's at 4,400 subs lost. Oh. Jared, I'm going to have to guess that once they saw how unimpressive your penis was, that's when the real unsubbing began. You could have maybe walked away with it. Try pulling the Chad card or something. Once they saw that little fella, all the sympathy went right out the window. Just uh, sad. Okay, let me put this little up uh, banner up. There we go. If you're just joining us, I'm reading Super Chats now. The... The stream itself was before this. Feel free to rewind, or you can watch a clipping channel. I'm sure I'll have the video up later on. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for this impromptu early morning stream. Be sure to keep up with these individuals. I'm sure there's a lot of entertainment coming through. I'll read through this, and then we will close it out. From Juan Torres, how is Twitter still free, man? From Spectre, I know you can't lick the pics, but where did you find them? What websites are they posted on? Uh, they're on threads in V, or they're in threads on V. And if you look to uh, Heidi's Twitter account in response to her talking about this, people are posting his penis pictures in response to her posts. From R. Jeffrey 14, late to the party, this guy is a Noseberg, right? I'm not sure what Jared is. I don't know what his last name is. Knabenbauer? I don't know what you'd make of that. I don't keep, I don't, I don't keep a little handy dictionary to tell you what that is. From uh, Pestilanesi. Jim, how sad am I to have an internet crush on you? Oh, terribly sad. From Farm Master Flex, that counts. Uh, that count dropping like a sick monkey T cell count. From Ching Li Ping, look up presenting a VOR project in Algebra 2 on YouTube. It's physically painful. Uh, maybe another time. From Crossbone Cipher, Jim, he has a Sailor Venus cosplay. <laughs> uh, with a cock that size, he could probably he could probably try to go the route of. Uh, cross-dressing, let's just say. Uh, from Wob Bob Jones, another big YouTuber exploits fans for nudes and implodes because of drama. No one on the planet Earth is surprised. Mike's Ox, or Mike Oxlong, hi. From Amphi the Ampharis, Pro Jared will be hung on the Twitter gallows. Kill Moose, kill. Hear about the racist pro wrestler who had an uh, old bodybuilder forum post surface. Lars Sullivan is his name, and wrestling fans are calling him a neo-Nazi. Not even familiar with him. From Hurtbox TV, what kind of world do we live in where DSP is a more mar stable marriage than these popular content creators? That is a scary fucking thought. MF Chicken Flipper, 
Big Nose Small Schlong from Ty4418. Wait, doesn't Holly work or work with the Game Grumps? I, I saw people talking about this earlier. I don't, I, I'm not familiar with the Game Grumps. Like, I know the name Jontron. That's about it. And Eagle Raptor and shit like that. I, I, I do, mean, that's all I know. I don't know who these purple or these people work with. I don't know what their business relationships are. I'm sure people are going to make videos on this. I'm sure there will be more informative streams about it. I am only imparting to you the uh, the pure glee that I feel at watching dumb shit happen in real time. And it just so happened these are the people that it's happening to because this guy thought it would be a brilliant decision to divorce his wife on Twitter. Uh a random username thing. Small Jared or Sailor Jared, which is better? Nightwave Radio. These picks are definitely out there. Just sent one from my Twitter account. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I saw a few. From Sean Aguilar. Look up Mimology's Twitter. Pain World. Tiny Boy Baby Boy. <laughs> uh, from Connor Kearney. Has anyone realized he dumped a hot Irish streamer with a successful clothing store for a pigeon fancier? From Dakelmore, did you see the video of Bake calling the cops on Ashton for cutting herself? Gotta love in real life streaming. I'm actually working on an in real life streaming video. Maybe turn it into a series, I don't know. Uh, because I've been focused on specific trends. I haven't really paid attention to Baked, though. I must have missed that one. But I've noticed Ice Poseidon's numbers have gone down the toilet. Hope of man, Heidi was a pretty loving wife. Pearls to swine. Gertie Dinklet, for the shrine. Juicy Bonner. Check out Jesse uh, Pridemore's Twitter. She's friends with Heidi and has been posting about it. Uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to be posting about this. From Mike, thanks for your streams. I used to watch this guy before his King's Knights review. It's sad how quickly people let power corrupt them. From Dango, go on V. A lot of people suggesting that. If you want more, more Jared pictures, I guess V is the board to hit. From Pedro A, Jim, we are not European. Stop uploading late. From Dango again. Apparently, Holly is one of the Game Grumps' ex-wives. <laughs> oh, this is going to make... Somebody who's more familiar with this, please make a video. It may have a little, have a little like, um, tack board with pictures of everybody and string going between each of them. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a very complicated, complicated story. I'm looking forward to it. From Joey Jojo. Ashamed I like Jared's JRPG videos. Loyalty is dead. Crappy Post, finally got to see you live if Pro Jared sent a lot of dick pics to a lot of ladies. Someone will use it as blackmail. Maybe harassment. Fuck Amway. <laughs> Shekelmeister, I'm having my final uh, tomorrow. Or I'm having my final tomorrow, you monster. Now I have to stay up for this. Well, it's over. You don't have to stick around for the uh, Super Chat section. I just read yours. Go get some sleep. Take your final. Get rested. From Crossbone Cipher, check Mimology 101's Twitter. Apparently, if you want to see some dick pics or more information... Hit up Mimology 101's Twitter. From Nicholas Diorio. I just added you on Twitter with a picture of Jer Bro Jared cosplaying in a sailor dress thing. Okay. You know what, chat? Hold on one second. Is this like a public thing he did, or is this like a sex pose he did dressed up as Sailor Moon? Because <laughs> if that's the thing, I'm going to have to... Oh my god, dude, no. Holy fucking shit, no. <laughs> no! Oh! Okay, there we go. Uh, apparently, that's one of the pic. Is this is this one of the pictures he sent out? <laughs> what sailor is this? Oh, I'm gonna. I know what it is. He must be Sailor Pluto, given the size of his penis, the smallest of the planets. <laughs> oh, Jared, no! God, everything is just. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, you know, look, I'm going to I I have to do this now. Let me take a minute to give some advice to future content creators out there. Maybe you want to be a big YouTuber. You want to make a lot of money, be real famous. I don't know what your fucking motivation is. Here's Jim's quick pro tips on how never to end up like this. Pro tip number 1. Don't send nudes of yourself to anybody. Pro tip number two, don't ask for nudes from anybody. Pro tip number three, if you have a small penis, don't show it to anybody. Pro tip number four, don't dress up like a Sailor Moon Scout. And <laughs> spread your legs for private pictures. Bad decision. Pro tip number five, 
just make your fucking videos and just be quiet and everything will work out well for you. And the final tip, tip number six, the biggest tip of all, do not divorce your wife via Twitter messages or this will be you on a late night stream five years from now. <laughs> Dude, brutal. God damn. From Sexy Legs. What's this dumb broad thinking? It's the current year. We should be accepting this beautiful open relationship. Also, <laughs> gang retards rise up. From my 795, Jim, someone posted one of his dick pics on your This is a wild night tonight tweet. From Psychic Trout, remember when Jared would go on Twitter and talk about getting more women into D&D? I guess it was less about getting women into D&D and more about Jared getting into more women. You may have a very good point. From Ordinary Devon, with that nose, Jared should have smelled this coming. From Cozy Paladin, Jared has fallen and failed all death saves. Laugh my ass off. Toby Tenusen, what a stupid thing to do in the global internet age. Just the kind of dumpster fire to keep me warm. Keep up the good fight, Jim. Well, thank you very much. Uh, put up the sailor pick. More people talking about the sailor pick. Meximan and Cheese, his wife was dressing up in a Bing Bing Wahoo outfit for him. And the girl he cheated with looks like she can scuba dive. <laughs> With only half a pair of goggles. Digger John, he's an albino stick insect. From Space Jew, hey Jimbo, just wanted to thank you for red pilling me on the hamster question. What a weird world we live in, honk honk. From Anthony Wildman, I'm drunk and work is going to suck tomorrow. But I want to give you Minecraft streamer a tier donation. Godspeed to you, you wonderful potato basketball American. Bryce Northup, poor Jared. Guess your wife wasn't into Sailor Moon. <laughs> Pocket Shop, Game Grumps deleted all their videos with Pro Jared back in April. They never said why. How much do you want to bet they knew? Now that is a very interesting theory. Again, I don't know who all these people are associated with. I, I've got very surface knowledge. I'm just the guy that stumbled on this and found it interesting. Uh, but if she is in fact one of the exes of the Game Grump people, and yeah, that would be, what a coincidence. Because Heidi said that uh, this, this infidelity went back to at least fall of last year. So maybe it went back even earlier. Sir Galahad, thoughts on Sargon's political campaign so far? Uh, I'm enjoying every laugh. From Jactian, Kazanosberg, <laughs> Undead Gaijin, best stream ever, take my shackle, or shekels daddy, a woo. Radio Consul, learning about this story made me feel better about my breakup. God damn, what do you think was going through his head when he made the statement on Twitter? Gamers rise up, I guess. Mario Carter 13, Jared can join Carl in D&D when their wives leave them. The unapologetic Canadian. Holly is manly looking. Jared is gay. From Andy M, who is sending this guy nudes? Can this get any funnier? Oh, I have a feeling it can. I don't think we've seen... <laughs> I think we're just seeing the beginning. Captain Madam, would you give Holly a bing bing woohoo? You know, that's a good question. Now that they're getting divorced, who gets to keep the fucking Wii U? a question she's going to have to answer for all us curious people one of these days from double o every time she gave him an inch he'd give her the rest of them or give the rest of them to holly andrew burke roses are red violets are blue bing bing woohoo mike pence hey jim did you know that jared made a few dicey cosplay pics on instagram one of them was a pic of him as sailor mercury i kid you not ah so that was a public picture that's even <laughs> that's not really better is it Rando number nine. JonTron must be dying of laughter right now. I know I am. Gifted monster, what's more gay, girl peen or boy pussy? From Stabby McStab, or McStabwood, was the guy the character model for Sloth. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of sympathy for our boy here tonight. From Minute World, Yo Jim. Ever played the Yakuza games? Zero and uh, Kiwami are on PC. Kiwami 2 is coming uh, to PC tomorrow. Yes, I love the uh, Yakuza games. Great shit. Alan Post 17, laughed out loud when you showed Jared's picture. While begozzled, this is worth being up at midnight. Josh Moon, Jim, since I'm paying you, you have to say what I say. Can you please say, everyone join the Sweetie Squad <laughs> HQ Discord? Well, I don't have an HQ Discord, so I'm not sure what they'd be joining. The Red Elephants, Vincent James. I don't know who pro Jared is, but I just got here and this seems interesting and hilarious. Here's some shekels. Uh, well, to give you a quick summary, uh, pro Jared is a fucking idiot. That's who Pro Jared is. Lord of S'more, I just woke up. What the hell happened? Unapologetic Canadian, please tell me you will read Holly's statement on Twitter. Oh, I've, I've read through them all. Existential Crisis. 
since you cover fan base meltdowns, did you happen to see that one a couple of years ago when a rapper said she would suck one of the members of BTS's lollipop and the fan base lost their shit? Uh, no, I did not see that. New Guardian, come on, Jim. We've all wanted to dump a cunt in 140 characters or less. We found ourselves a visionary. From Arthur J. McCardo. Was about to fall asleep, you lousy pig lover. Autistic Jared Scrotum is going to get sliced off. God bless you, Jimbo. Love you lots as always. Possible episode of Internet Insanity on Leonard Shainard. Uh, not, I have nothing planned on that front at the moment. From your mom. Jim, this is a fantastic night. First I see a shit show of a long neck soy boy who I hate. And I get to hear your voice. Keep it up. Rocky Desert Flower looks like he did her a favor by freeing her. Toad Lily. Holly is Ross from Game Grump's ex-wife. They divorced last year a bit before the time frame she gave that they were sleeping together. You know, I'm going to just put the speculation out that they've been fucking for more than a year and that there's a whole bunch of backstory to this. From Sinister Web, how do Gorons reproduce? They get their rocks off. Stiff eye lens, I can't believe Jared cucked Ross from Game Grumps. From Garp, girls would rather share a beta than... Wait, what? From Spectre, out of work so only SC... But I've been a fan of Jared's forever. Jared dumped his wife on Twitter. Why do internet celebrities do stupid shit? I could not tell you what the motivation for the dumb fucking shit they do is. MF Chicken Flipper. Love the content, Jim. Keep being awesome. Shade 88. Holly was married to a Game Grump employee, Ross. They split up back in October of 2018. If that's when they split up, that's the exact time frame that she was fucking Jared. At least according to his ex-wife, Holly. Or uh, Heidi, sorry. Uh, Josh Moon, I bet Jade's pussy smells worse than charred bodies at Hiroshima. Official Sweetie Squad Discord. Alan Down Under, press F for my sides. From Synac 8, it's year 18. I waited for Jared to leave Jim so she can make love to me with her tranny phallus. But instead, she rejects me. She calls me pathetic. Why doesn't she understand I would have let her rape me? From a random user thing, welcome GG all aboard the cuck train. Oh, let me read a few more here, and then we'll... <clears throat> Sorry. And then we'll close up. From Moonbear, first time catching a stream, take my shekels, thank you very much. Dances with Metroids, divorce with style, serves papers with a backflip. <laughs> I just don't understand how he thought this was a good idea. Mr. Mayrip, remember when Jared cross-dessed as Sailor Mercury? Google pro Jared Sailor Mercury. He really did do it publicly. Amazing. Tijuana Tom, take these neat bucks to protect yourself from glow-in-the-dark CIA communist computer gods. The big 43 bat. Dad, please come back. Denial132. Thank you, Jim, for your content. I still miss Blessed Terry from something. Hey, Jimbo. Finland is getting a left-wing boomer government. Looks like I'll be keeping, or I'll keep needing for the next four years. Here's a share of my neat bucks for providing me with quality shit shows. Thank you. Well, you are welcomed. From a skilled Roy, why is it every time someone gets caught cheating on their wife, it's always with someone significantly uglier? Holly looks like a man. Lots of people really, really laying into to Holly. Not a lot of Holly sympathy, not a lot of Jared sympathy in chat tonight. From Kenzie Crisano, who would you pick to be? Jared's elf wife or his goblin mistress? Or who would you pick? Well, I'm, I'm probably going to go with the elf wife. <laughs> That's, I don't think, uh, you know, she wasn't cheating on him. Sounds like she was faithful in the relationship. I don't know why he'd let go of a keeper. Got a faithful wife, might want to keep that. It seems kind of stupid to cheat on somebody like that. From Tofu Hazard, this is my favorite public dumpster fire in recent memory. Do you think Jared actually cucked Rubber Ross? Or his wife, or is his wife just the head case? Well, we've already seen the dick pics, so I think it's not made up entirely. From Psychic Trout, Jared did always come off as shady to me. Er, anyway, take my filthy shekels. You were welcome. We read some of the newer ones here, and then... I'm sorry if I missed yours, I'm kind of blowing through these. I want to try to read as many as I can and then let everybody get some fucking sleep for work and school and all that shit. I'll read about 10 more here and then I'm going to close up the stream. Again, don't, don't, don't like look away from this because uh, I guarantee you knowing how these things work, it's going to get funnier in the next couple days. Just, I have a good feeling about it. From Sam Beck, say, swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that booty. From Bing Binger, did he shave his legs? Amazing. Onion Wizard, don't join that Discord. It's run by the Plate Gang. Lane for life. Hey, Jim, have you played the Altier series before? I'm familiar with it, but I don't know if I've played it. From Far Master Flex, will someone be archiving this? Miss most of it? I'm sure somebody will have a 
It's about 30 minutes long outside of Super Chats. Somebody will clip it, put it up on a channel. From Josh Moon, no never, I need you to say please join the Sweetie Squad HQ. I've said that for you, but again, I don't have a Discord and I don't run one, so I would not recommend joining Discord. Discord is terrible. The great Saiyaman, that shit's, or this shit's crazy. Never thought I'd see somebody like him doing this, but I really don't follow him too closely. Either way, glad you could have a laugh from this. Have a good night, man. From Lefty McRae, don't know why my last Super Chat didn't go through, but thanks for the uh, crack, Jim Lat. Angry Cultist, thanks for the laughs while I work. Glad to help. Uh, read a couple more. I'll do five more here, and then we're going to close it out. Sean M., Jim, have you heard Video Game Dunky Cuckold Vid? No, I haven't. From Sarman, first Holly takes out Ross and now Jared. This is a 24-hour op to kill off YouTubers. George Sullivan, JonTron always wins, baby. Ear juice. Tubby Smollett can't handle banter and will report you. And Zach Funk, Sailor Cosmo. Sailor Cosmo. Uh, and then Jackson, who threw 50 at me. Fat Woo. There we go. All right. Uh, well, thank you all for coming out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little example of what not to do when you want to have a divorce with somebody. Uh, do the opposite of what Jared's done and hopefully your life won't go up in flames in front of you in the span of two hours and you end up losing a ton of subs and having people laugh at your penis on the internet for the entire evening. Terrible, terrible decision, Jared. What the fuck were you thinking? Uh, let's close this out. Okay. Uh, I will have a video up Friday. I'll have another stream on Saturday with David Stay, actor who played Mandar in Photon. Uh, so for those of you interested in that, that will be uh, in the afternoon around 4 o'clock, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I hope you all have a good, oh, what is today, Thursday? Have a good Thursday. Have a good uh, work day, a good school day. Uh, and just uh, walk around with a smile on your face because you aren't Jared and your penis isn't being laughed at and people aren't lighting you up on social media because you have more common sense than to do dumb shit like Jared does. Have a good, have a good day, chat. And I will see you later.